Okay, so I'm gonna do a video that's out of the normal amount of normal videos because I haven't made a review in a while. Actually, it's been about a week. Or no, two weeks. Since I last did my New Moon review, I did my 200 subscribers review where I said that I saw Fantasmus, Fantasmus Fox, but I also saw like two other movies that weekend. I've seen two movies this weekend, Armored and Precious. Um, yep, so... I will, I'm pro I'll do a full review for Precious, but I'll just do a quick review of Armor at the end of this. First off, I just want to, because this is kind of like a just random movie blog kind of thing, plus, it's kind of main theme, but what, I, if you've noticed, Blindside took the number one spot in the weekend estimates to New Moon for about five million. New Moon finally dropped for the four, from first place after two weeks, I mean, it's almost like a 260 million haul so far, which is obviously going to go up. But, yeah, for right now, uh, the blind side's in the lead. But about 5 million, he made another 20 million, bringing up to like 129 million so far, which is great for a movie with only like a 30 million dollar budget. So, yes. New Moon's dying. Quickly. So, all you Potter fans out there like me, there's been a bootleg trailer for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part 1, part 2. They never really specified on which one it was going to be. The first one, first part comes out next November, um, and the second one comes out July 2011, competing with about other 2011 uh, summer names. But, yes, um, if you want to check out the trailer, because I can't download it, because I usually put it in the videos, I can't find an actual place to download it because it hasn't been legally released yet. I think, but whatever, the bootleg trailer uh, is, I'll put it, the link in the description. Check it out quick because it's m probably be removed. Um, I'll put a link to it. Definitely go check it out. Um, it doesn't show a lot of footage. The first, don't be fooled, the first like 30 seconds is just like an interview. Then it gets into the actual trailer. So yeah, watch the first 30 seconds. You have to scroll down a little bit. There's like a picture and then there's an actual video. But yeah, it's cool. Don't get too excited. It does just show a couple of brief little things. It's kind of run. It kind of reminds me of the first Half Blood Prince trailer, which did get me psyched into it. But yes, didn't show as much as we quite wanted it to. This one shows a little less, but still, it does get you pumped up for next November. And I can't. I can't say that I'm not excited. It looks awesome. I can't really give it a full review. It's just a teaser. Um, but really, it looks cool. I know I haven't done a trailer review in a while. But really, go check it out. Link in the somewhere. And yes, I did read the Deathly Hallow book, so it's nothing like... I, I know what they're talking about when you see all the stuff happening in the trailer. But anyway, on to my new thing. I did see Precious. I'll make a different review for that. So, Armored. Armored is a movie starring Matt Dillon. Uh, I saw the trailer a while ago. I think it was like in Glorious Bastards. I might have seen the first trailer. Probably before that. But yeah, and I did not think it looked good at all. And I... It, and it didn't get any press um, reviews, early screenings, or anything, so there was no hype around the movie, critic-wise. And then I, I, it had better reviews than a couple other movies out this weekend, so I just went and saw it. And it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad either, and for a quick sum up, I'd say it's just a fun little ride at the movies. It's not going to make a lot of money, because really it doesn't look all that interesting, but I'll give it a five and a half out of ten because it's not a bad movie, it's just a decent movie. It, I can't even say it's decent, it's just below average. Yeah, it's it's not good or bad, it's completely in the middle, which is like a five out of ten, it's 50-50. Um, it has its redeeming qualities, Matt Dillon does a pretty good job as this kind of menacing heist puller offer, and it's got a kind of a caper feel, but doesn't know if it wants to be like in a high intense situation kind of thing or more of an action-y but it doesn't really take a place on that but uh yeah I'd wait for next weekend where we have the princess and the frog and Invictus I'm so excited for Invictus it's my second most anticipated movie of this year of the rest of the year number one of course is Avatar number three is Sherlock Holmes well those are my most anticipated widely released movies I still have to see up in the air in an education and a serious man which I'll look good 